So Emma, how does it feel to be chosen as a winner of Sports Aid's One to Watch this year? It's an amazing feeling. Like, out of all the amazing athletes put forward, I can't believe uh, I've been chosen. It's crazy. Windsurf is not that big, so I can't believe it, really. And you're top of, or have come top of 1,200 athletes. That's a pretty good achievement. <laughs> yeah, can't believe it. Just amazing to be like recognised for my achievements and out of so many other great achievements, I can't really believe it. Now, previous winners, Tom Daly, Jodie Williams and Paralympian Holly Arnold, they're pretty big names to follow <laughs> in the footsteps of. Yeah. Again, a great feeling. Yeah, I, they're like my idols. I've watched them for so many years on TV and I can't believe, hopefully I can become one of them. Uh, I hope so too. Um, <laughs> You've obviously had some great successes last year and, and I'm sure this year. How does it rank um, winning this award in, alongside those achievements? Yeah, it's really high up in my, like, I can't believe it. Like last year winning the Youth World Championships, that's probably my biggest thing. And this is almost alongside it. I just can't believe it. And what's ahead for you um, in the next six, 12 months? Um, so I go to the ISAF Youth Worlds in December and that's like my big competition for this year and then next year I'll do some more senior World Cup events so then it all builds up in the four year cycle to 2020 and hopefully I can go to that Olympics. And as part of the award you get some extra extra sports aid funding, mm -hmm. um, what impact will that have on, on you and, and enabling you to pursue the sport even more? The funding is incredible. It helps so much for like my parents who fund me a lot and now I've got British sailing team so just all coming together and hopefully I can go to more events and get the experience. And, yeah. Brilliant. We're done. I'm just going to ask the um, your chief, um, what's ahead for the for this year. You did a great answer. Yeah. I think the only bit you didn't say is that you're the only one going to the thing in Malaysia. Okay. So I think it's quite important. <laughs> Hey, give it some credit. <laughs> so we'll just try that again. If it doesn't okay. work, we'll use the other one, but I might as well ask. Okay. So um, what's ahead for you in the next six, 12 months? Um, so in December, I go to the ISAF Youth World Championships, which is where one person from each country can represent and go and compete. So I've been selected for the windsurfing class and my brother Dan has been selected for the boys windsurfing class. So be, hopefully it'll be a good time.